Megan is a prime example that if a strong, independent woman can't make it on her own, you must find a powerful person of status who can do it for you. There's nothing wrong in finding someone to help you with your career. However, if you make a habit of using people, then dropping them when they have nothing left to offer you, then it just makes you pretty despicable. This is what people claim that Megan does by any means necessary. Trevor was the ideal man for a young woman looking to make her way in the acting business. Following the beginning of Megan's relationship with Engelson, that is where the roles in CSI and Deal or No Deal emerged. Those roles that were proving hard to get were suddenly attainable. In 2011, they wed in Jamaica, which was nothing like her fairy tale wedding to Prince Harry. According to a royal biographer, Meghan Markle continuously nagged her ex-husband, Trevor Engelson, to cast her in his projects as a bid to boost her Hollywood career. Andrew Morton claimed in his 2018 book, Meghan, A Hollywood Princess, that the Duchess continuously nagged Trevor, which became a source of conflict for the couple. This, of course, is unconfirmed and probably likely to be untrue. He wrote, During Meghan's time on Deal or No Deal, Trevor had a film in production, a marital comedy, Licensed to Wed, starring funny man Robin Williams and Mandy Moore. Meghan secretly hoped that there would be a role for her, but the bit parts that might have suited her went out to more experienced actresses who had worked with director Ken Quapis on the TV series The Office. It was to become a source of conflict between the couple, Megan becoming disappointed that Trevor didn't try harder to include her in some of his productions. How anybody would know any of these intimate details of a couple is beyond me, probably all unconfirmed and all untrue. As time went on, Trevor made a new name for himself in the industry. He was able to dish out a few crumbs to his then-girlfriend. Megan was cast as the secretary in a short film called The Candidate, and later a small role in a 2010 film, Remember Me, starring Robert Pattinson. As Trevor was rising up, Megan was yet to have her big break and had to be content with her partner getting all the plaudits. Mr. Morton wrote, Megan did her best to shine as the beautiful, talented, as well as supportive girlfriend of a bona fide mover and shaker who could now afford to give Megan a few crumbs from his groaning pile of scripts. At least it would stop her continuously nagging him to give her a part in one of his productions. Unfortunately, a couple of months later, Megan landed a role in Suits, and that also signaled the end for poor Trevor. Despite moving his office from Los Angeles to New York so he could be closer to her in Toronto, it just wasn't meant to be. Trevor tried to make the marriage work by doing this, but unfortunately for him, Megan was ready to move on to her next target. Much to the surprise of Trevor, Megan moved out of their apartment. She returned the wedding and engagement ring he had bought her via FedEx. In short, that basically sums up her divorce from Trevor Engelson as ending for the following reasons. They cite irreconcilable differences for their divorce. She was her own woman now, earning a steady income, making new friends on set and off, and no longer dependent on her husband's connections. Trevor is now married to Tracy Curland. Now here comes the kicker for Megan. Turns out Tracy is not a young, hot, blonde nutritionist, the female Californian stereotype. No, she's an heiress worth $300 million. Basically, Trevor totally lucked out here. Can you imagine Megan's reaction when she found out that it was her ex Trevor, not her, that lucked out? It's very unlikely that Megan even cares about her ex-husband's new wife's inheritance. At a certain level of wealth, you just stop thinking about money like that.